Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, uh, go check out all my videos. First of all, on this uh, 06 Honda Metropolitan. And first of all, I did a bunch of carburetor stuff. Well, taking off the carburetor, the some of the hoses for the antifreeze goes through that, or for the coolant goes through that. And uh, <clears throat> so I lost a little bit of that. So I'm going to first of all kind of check it and see. I think I'm going to go ahead and replace this. But over here you can see in your screen hopefully. Here's where the exhaust is. Right next to your oil dipstick. <clears throat> underneath the body panel here is this piece. And that's where your antifreeze is. And there's a screw right here in the body panel that I took off. Because I'm trying not to take all these bo this body panel off. It looks kind of like a pain in the butt. I don't know. I've never done it before. Anyway, I took this one out so it'll move a little bit. And then it appears, I don't know if there's any up here. I hope I'm hoping not. But it appears that we got one, two, three, four screws. We'll take this cover off. And I'm going to go ahead and carefully use my impact here. I think that'll let this come off, I'm hoping. Yep. And there's your little tiny radiator. It's kind of cute. I'm actually going to take this pick and try and get that out of there. And then down here it appears where you can actually unscrew it to get your antifreeze out. I'm not sure if this is going to work for me. Jack it up. I don't know if it's going to work. Alright, we'll try it. Uh, I better unplug it too. And I believe I might be able to just, yep, looks like I can just kind of unscrew this by hand. Oh. Okay, well that may not have worked. Alright, plan B. With that, which is what I used for my oil. But there wasn't a whole lot in there. Let's undo the cap, see if that lets some air in here. There we go. The cap's just right on the top, just like any other radiator. Push down on it to get it to come loose somewhere. There we go. Here. And you got to take your seat out for this. I need you wouldn't really have to for this part of it. And I'm not even sure if you have to, to be honest. We'll see if I can put antifreeze in without taking the seat off. But I have the seat off already for the carburetor. Um, I have a one on how to clean out the needle on your carburetor in case you're having that problem. And that shows you how to take the seat off if you want to go check that out. But anyway purpose of being up here is we got a coolant bottle up here where you put it in. I'm going to open that cap as well and let as much air into this system as we can to hopefully let it all drain out. found this funnel here. It's one of those ones that's supposed to allow you to tip it a bit, bit of an angle. Now I am bending this up a little bit to stick it down there. And then I just have some regular tap water that I'm going to use to see if I can do this with. I'm not going to use the tap water for I'm doing it for testing purposes kinda see how slow I need to go before it starts drilling, dripping over and to kinda flush it out I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and I'll just let it go through till it runs fairly clear here although I think it could be done quite honestly it's four 10 millimeter bolts and you got it out of there and then you can easily pour it down in the top here now yet again this is just wa clean water tap water and I'm just pouring it in here to try to flush out the system a little bit more so I'm not really caring if I get a little bit on the motor Quite honestly, a little bit of the antifreeze got onto the motor, so a little bit of water down in there shouldn't hurt anything. And also fill this thing up. 
Let's see if it. Goes down some. There's plain water in there, it's harder to tell. Nope. Alright, I think I flushed that fairly clear yet again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back now, on. Now I went ahead and put the bottom back on, the drain plug back on. All that is is just kind of a finger tight, hand tight thing. Oop. This definitely doesn't take a whole lot, I don't think. I cannot tell if it's... Well, that looks like it's filled. And right them. there is the top of the radiator there. And it didn't take a whole lot to fill that up. So we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And I'm just you doing this to flush it. Um, now you can use distilled water if you want. Although it's more expensive there wasn't that much it doesn't appear to be but we'll see when i turn it on i'm sure it'll kind of go down a little bit so i have more water ready to go here and let's watch it we're just allowing it to flush through the system hopefully it probably has to warm up quite a bit before it'll actually go through so when I get it warmed up and it starts flowing through, I'll be back. Well, YouTube, it's been a few days now and uh, I had to go do something else. And so I've kind of forgotten where I was. I believe that I had put water in this and ran it for a while. And then I have actually undid it and drained it out. Now something, this overflow tank up here, I couldn't get the water, didn't seem to want to come out of there. So... I ended up tipping the bike over just to see if I could get more out of the radiator and that actually made the, the water dump out of the expansion tank here. So uh, you may have to do that to get it all flushed out. Now I'm going to go ahead and one more time dump water in here. Just yet again, I'm just using water from the spigot here. Um, it is, we have fairly clean water here. But uh, it's, it's not good to run plain water, uh, I, I do know this. But in the end, I'm going to run a 50-50 mix of the right antifreeze. So, but I have now blocked it off here. It's all back together. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this up one more time. And I'm going to go take this for a drive. Um, and let it really flush through the whole system and get warmed up. And hopefully won't have any problems. Um, but just take it for a drive and let it flush through and then I'm going to drain it completely out one more time and, we'll and I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to put the seat somewhat back on it. I'll probably put the top two screws in it and go take it for a bit of a spin. Well, I came back from a ride and um, it didn't heat up or get warm. In fact, it wasn't all that warm to be honest with. I'm hoping it flushed out good. We'll see. Um, but this is what I'm talking about, tipping it over so you can get kind of everything out of it. Uh, this is one of those things, if you do anything I do and you hurt yourself, I'm not responsible. If you hurt your equipment, I'm not responsible. But this seems to be what you need to do to get all the fluid out of it. Just be careful. And it's all out. So I am going to go ahead now and put the antifreeze in. Now. According to things I've seen, you have to be careful of what kind of antifreeze you use in these things. I found a Walmart brand uh, antifreeze that says it's compatible with everything. I'm going to go ahead and use it. Uh, you can choose to do what, put in whatever you want for antifreeze. And I'm just going to fill it through the top up here. I would yet again highly recommend just popping the seat off. It's it takes less than a couple of minutes to do and, and you're done. Not even a couple minutes. Four bolts. Anyhow, so I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And make sure your cap's clean, especially if you just dropped it on the floor like I did. A plug, I should say. I keep calling it a cap. And just finger tight. Don't need a reef on it. Um, if you can't get it out, I do believe there's an Allen wrench. Um, kind of a hole up in there, but it is plastic, so you have to be real careful with that. And I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to try 
as I may. I know I'm going to spill some. But I'm going to turn this this way, first of all. But I'm just going to put in a little bit at a time because this really does not take very much antifreeze. I don't know what the exact amount is. You'll have to look in your own manual if you have one. You're probably just looking at the back of my head for all I know. But I don't want to whoa, get it all over the place. Okay. There we go. Just below the top there. And this one, hopefully I'll be able to see a little better than the plain water, because I really could not see how full this was. Well, for all intents and purposes, um, that's as good as I'm going to get it as far as flushing it out. I think that's a fairly decent way to do it. These things, uh, they tend to run fairly well no matter what. As long as you, you know, keep the oil changed on them and do this kind of stuff once in a while. Uh, they seem to keep going so I I don't know if that's the perfect or appropriate way to do it but I know it's flushed out now I know it has mostly new cooling in the system um, and I'm pretty happy with that alright this is Sam Jack of all master none you all have a good one